beautiful and it's a beautiful day here in the South Wales Valleys. Not quite so beautiful in my kitchen at the moment, we've still got those horrible noisy blowers on. I'm in kind of desperate need to go shopping but the bread seems intact and Izzy fancies a tuna sandwich for breakfast. Random. I always feel like I'm feeding a cat when I open a tin of tuna for Izzy and dish it out with a fork and chop it up. Meow. The floor update is we still have all these horrible noisy machines in. Yesterday a plumber came and he fixed the toilet so now that's all drying out nicely. This is one of those back in time things. Going back to Monday. Ew, ew, that's the back of my toilet. Apparently there was supposed to be a connector thing in the ground and for all the 14 years or so that I've lived here there hasn't been one, it's just been bodged with silicone. Uh, so he's going to try and fix that just long enough for me to have the thing dried and he's going to get me a replacement bit for that. Only guess what, I didn't realise, I said, oh before you go to the plumbing supply place, let me just show you the system. <laughs> he was, I'm not sure whether he's impressed with my uh, botch job or not. I think his words was, wow. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> um, I didn't realise he'd taken the pipe off, so I, fl I flushed the loo to demonstrate. And he went, no, 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 but it was too late, I'd flushed it then. And yeah, so another flood, a whole basin's worth all over the floor. Yeah, so that wasn't without the odd little disaster here and there as well. But anyway, it's all finished now. Uh, the tube thing at the back reminds me of the tumble dryer hose, actually. It looks like that, look. Apparently this is normal these days. It's like a temporary thing, but to be honest, it actually is a temporary thing for me because my plan is that since I've got to have all this floor redone, now is a great time to have the bathroom done. It really needs doing. It needed doing when I moved in about 14 years ago. And then Izzy was born and life got busy. And I just haven't got around to it, but I'm going to get around to it. This is forcing me to do it. Anyway, right now I'm gonna go and get dressed and I've got a few little errands to do before I start doing learning -y stuff with Izzy this morning. And while I think of it, my other news is that my front garden has been dug up for weeks and weeks and weeks on end and our only means of getting in and out of the house has been to climb over a wonky fence with uneven paving slabs that are like little seesaws and slither over a load of rubble and use stepping stones out of the original stones that were part of my front steps and all that. But anyway, my amazing boyfriend has rebuilt them for me. He's done an amazing job and it looks fantastic. So now life is much better because we can actually get in and out of the house. We do have a rear entrance as well. I hacked a, an enormous bramble bush to death in order to be able to get access from the back gate. But anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. I better get dressed. Oh, I was just gonna go to the loo and look. It's done it again. All pressed up against the wall. Look. Anyway, I'm going to get back to having my wee now, if you don't mind. Ah! We're revising some of the silent letter words this afternoon. Izzy's producing these absolutely beautiful little flashcards so that we can go over them and uh, use them as, well, some sort of game or another, which I haven't thought up yet. Oh, Izzy's already come up with an idea for a game straight away. She says she's going to tell you in a minute. Yeah. Into the last fiddly bits now. <laughs> right, she's been in production. She's made all her little cards here with the silent letters. So is to is. What is this great game that you've just invented in your head? It's like pairs, but instead of finding two with the same, we have to find two with the same silent letter. 
And here are our words. As you can see, they've been grouped according to which silent letter in this particular resource, which is the CGP study guide that has an accompanying workbook the answers in as well. So we will eventually get around to doing the worksheet that goes with it, but we're going to play the game first so she can really consolidate the concept. You may have noticed two of the patterns have an odd number. Oh yeah. The same. But that doesn't matter because we basically just duplicated one of each word in that pattern. Okay. So they're all even and there's all pairs to be made. Okay, should we have a go? Stars! But you have to shuffle first. This could take a while. Okay, it's all laid out and we're going to see now if this game will work or not. Well, several moves in now. Isabel is cleaning up. She's got four pairs and I've got one. Right. I'm go for this random one, on, here. on. We've got could and... Oh, 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 I think there's a, I think there's a walk. Yay! Yeah. It's a talk actually, but it's silent L. Oh yeah, that means I get another I go. I got a walk. Oh, have you? Yeah. Right, I'm gonna go for this one. Knife. So that's a silent okay. K. Ooh. Go for that one. Go for that one. I don't know, it's calling me. It's calling you. <laughs> well, if I get it. Talk! Oh. I didn't go. I didn't say that one. I wasn't say that one. <laughs> well, that was a silent L in there. L. And that's a silent K, so. They do not make a match. So Your turn. I go. Izzy's uh, in the lead now at this point. Yeah. Right. Faskinate. The silent C. And I can't remember what any of these are. Right. With a silent W. w. They do not go together. Your turn. I know that. Weather. As in whether or not. Oh, it's a silent H. H. I want Christmas. I want Christmas. That's the one I want. Chemist. Oh, well, it'll work. Yeah? What's their silent letter that they have? H. In? H. I won by one. I won by one. I won by one. I won. Mm, mommy, I won by one. She won. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a good loser? And that game took. 15 minutes with all those words in there. The fuse has gone in my washing machine again and I ran out of fuses. <sighs> but anyway, I'm not fixing it now. I'm gonna do some Spanish with Izzy. I'm trying this book out on her, even though it wasn't in the children's section. I did about 10 minutes of it with her yesterday and she enjoyed it. She thought it was much better than the uh, child specific one with the more conventional approach to do it, sort of like starting with basic phrases and stuff. So here we are on the sofa. Isabella's enjoying a nice juicy apple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good. Her Spanish might be a little bit munchy. So far you've created the word for I visited in Spanish simply by taking the English word visit and adding a onto the end of it. You can now do something similar with the English word pass. Just as before, what I want you to do is to take the English word pass and simply add A to the end of it. Whoa, well, you're quick. Let's see. <laughs> do that now. What do you get? I already did that. <laughs> you're too fast. I know. Passe. And that's how this book works, pretty much. You've got to do it in exactly the right order and you must cover up the orange and it just teases it out of you. And so... Yeah, and it basically uses all your English vocabulary as the basis for starting with. Oh no. <laughs> Ayura's back. We haven't seen Ayura for a while, have we? No. Ayura suddenly had a great urge to learn Spanish. Right then, Ayura, I'm going to ask you in English. You need to answer in Spanish, okay? Um, how was your evening with Isabel yesterday? Um... Fue adorable. Fue adorable. Fue adorable. So that's our school all done for the day. We're heading out now because Izzy's got a group classy thingy to go to. So I'm going to end the vlog now because by the time we get back it'll be quite late and I'll be a bit tired. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Please remember to give a like if you liked it and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you would like to hear about when we upload, okay? Bye!